Right. So, in heaven, God the Father is there with Jesus Christ who has many materials for us to have. And the Holy Spirit is there also. So, the three of them, can you see Teacher John's fingers? The three of them are together in heaven. And they're like one unit and one team working together so that what God the Father wants we will also have, and we can also go to the place God prepared for us in heaven. Do you know how that happens? Or do you want to know how that happens? All right. So can you see one side has a cloud and the other side has no clouds? Can you see that? So the side with the clouds is yeah. the spirit realm. Please turn off your mind. And the side with no clouds is where we are right now on earth. So in the spirit realm, there is Jesus Christ with the materials in him, in his spirit, in his life. And the Holy Spirit is also there. But we're on the other side. We're here on earth. Can you see Jesus with your eyes? Not really. Can you see the Holy Spirit with your eyes? Also not really. But we can communicate with the Holy Spirit through frequency. By prayer. By speaking in tongues. And we can also communicate to the Holy Spirit by frequency. So right now, I want you to all sit down. Okay? Let's all put your hands together and we're going to pray. So if you're playing right now, if you're eating, if you're drinking, if you're sleeping, if you're doing something else, Teacher John is asking you to stop right now, to pay attention and to sit properly and posture yourself like a daughter and like a son of God. Okay, so sit down and we're going to pray. Teacher John is going to speak in tongues a bit, so don't open your mic. Just pray with Teacher John. Is that okay? Is that okay? All right. Re ba 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 se ke ke re re ya suela la yende. Ora ba 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 se ke re re ya kara re yende. Lord, we welcome you today in this meeting. We ask that your presence will be with us. And that you will empower these children, O oh Lord, and we will learn great and new things today. That we will learn about heaven, we will learn about your spirit, and we will learn about your love and righteousness in our lives. We thank you that everyone, O oh Lord, will learn. Their hearts will be open, they will be engaged, they will expand their capacity, and they will connect to Teacher John, to Teacher Joshua, and most of all, to you. We thank you very much. We welcome you today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So let's continue. So we can connect to the Holy Spirit by frequency. And they can connect. And Jesus and the Holy Spirit can connect to us with frequency. Now watch what's going to happen. Can you see all those bricks on Jesus' body? Right? Okay. Now, the Holy Spirit and Jesus Christ and God the Father wants us to have those bricks. But do you think we can go to heaven and just get it like that? We can with the help of the Holy Spirit. So watch what's going to happen next. The Holy Spirit, can you see? The dove changed direction. Goes to Jesus Christ takes that material and gives it, gives it to us through frequency. And the Holy Spirit goes back, takes another material, and gives it, gives it to us by frequency. And again, another material, and it's given to us. And again, and again, and again, and again, until we receive all that is in Jesus Christ through the Holy Spirit. 
until our body becomes like a brick house that's very strong and we become empowered by the Holy Spirit. So do you want to be strong like that? Right? Okay, let's pay attention. How do we do that? So we need to connect our mind and our heart and they should be aligned so that our spirit will be on fire and whatever is in our spirit, we will also see it in our mind. Next, whenever we pray and pray in tongues, we communicate to the Holy Spirit and when we read God's word, we receive the materials that we saw earlier. And when we keep on doing this again and again and again every day, we become like Jesus Christ. Can you see that? Can you see that? So do you want to be like Jesus Christ? What God wants for us is in Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ wants to give it to us through the Holy Spirit. So we always need to listen to him and to read his word. So are you ready for today? Put a thumbs up. Are you ready for today? Okay. So now let's do what we always do. Okay. Sit down. Posture yourself. Let's start. Let's open up our heart. Follow teacher John. Let's open up our heart. What's next? Let's engage. So that whatever is in the mind of teacher Joshua will also be in your mind. Whatever is in the mind of Christ will also be in your mind. Next, we need to expand our capacity so we will receive more materials from Jesus Christ so that he can build us more and more and more and more. And so we can, we can become stronger and stronger and stronger. And lastly, we need to connect so that whatever is in the heart of God, whatever he wants us to have, the Holy Spirit can give it to us. He can give it to us through frequency. So are you ready to listen to Teacher Joshua? All right. So let's welcome Teacher Joshua today. Good afternoon, everybody. And... I believe that as we've fine-tuned our spirit, we should level up our fine-tuning again so that we can receive more and understand more from God, okay? So I will lead you again into prayer. Everybody engage, sit properly, and we will pray again, all right? So Lord, oh God, we pray, oh Lord, for these children, for this select arrows, oh Lord, that their spirit will be tuned to your frequency. We pray, O oh God, that they will be touched by the Holy Spirit so that not just only receive, but also receive the understanding of your word, O oh God. We pray, O oh Lord, that their spirit will be tuned to your frequency. We pray that they will pay attention well. We pray, O oh Lord, that they will receive well in their spirit and receive the Christ, the words, O oh Lord, the food of the inner man, O oh Lord, that they need to receive for this week, O oh God, for this day. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. We pray, O Lord, that they will continuously engage and behave well as sons and daughters of God, O Lord. And we continuously engage our spirit, O Lord, in you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Okay. So, we will continue the remaining things that we need to keep in mind in how we build our inner man. Inner man. Okay. It's not about us. It's not about the outside. It's about the inside of you. It's not about the outside. It's about the inside in your heart that needs to be built up. Because in you is our spirit. And in your spirit, it needs to be built up well so that we know how to connect to God. Because it is the inside that God is interested at, not the outside. And in you is Christ that we need to build. You are the house. You are the house of God, and we need to prepare to build our spirit so that God can live inside of you, not the outside, okay? It's in the inside. God lives inside your heart, in your spirit, and we do this by building our spirit with bricks, strong bricks. What? What, what bricks? The word of God. 
So we will look at this further in the presentation. All right. So here is the presentation. Okay. Christ is the foundation. Remember what I told you that Christ is the foundation. He is the start. If we want to build our inner man, if we want to grow our spirit, then we should start in Christ. I'll tell you a story. Everybody knows this story. But to those who don't know, I'll tell more about this. It's a fable. Fables are stories of animals that gives us lessons. It's about the ant and the grasshopper. So what happened, what happened here is that the, it was a beautiful day and the grasshopper was asking, we're asking the ant. And the grasshopper asked, what are you, what are you guys doing? And the, ant, the ants looked at the grasshopper. He said, we're bringing grains. We're bringing food to our nests because they're collecting food. They're collecting food to their nests. They're keeping it because it's summer. And before winter, they need to get and gather food because in winter, it's hard to get food. But the grasshopper said, what are you talking about? It's a beautiful day. There's lots of food everywhere. Why do we need to prepare? It's so tiring. So what the grasshopper is saying is that he doesn't want to work and collect food. He, he said that it's, it's, there's food everywhere. Why do we need to collect? Meanwhile, the ants are still collecting some food, but the grasshopper, the grasshopper is saying, we should just relax and have fun. It's a beautiful day. But the ants said, you should start collecting some food because winter is about to come. So what the grasshopper did, instead of listening and, and following the ants' instruction, the grasshopper just slept, ate, he kept on eating, but until he grew fat and he didn't co collect food for his house. And what happened next was the ants, meanwhile, kept on collecting, but the grasshopper just kept on lying down, not working. He's having fun. The ants are looking at him, saying, you should prepare now. But the grasshopper just kept on swimming, they kept on playing, not collecting food, not, prepare, not preparing. And he's just having fun. The grasshopper is just having fun. He's just swimming. But the, until the ant came again, and it's autumn. Autumn, it's, it means that winter is almost close, very close. The ant said, you should start collecting some food. Winter is really close. But the grass, grasshopper said, why should I prepare? And if winter comes, this is what the grasshopper said, if winter comes, I can just get some food. So what happened next was winter did, did come and it was snowing very deep. There were lots of snow. But since we learned that the ants collected food to their nests, they enjoyed even if it was cold on the outside, they were warm because they have, they prepared a place, they prepared a nest. And even if they cannot collect food outside, they already collected food. They already collected food on the inside. So they already have enough food. But the grasshopper didn't prepare any food. And what happened? The grasshopper suffered on the outside. It didn't have a place. And since that he didn't listen to the ants, he suffered the consequences of being cold outside. And he didn't have food because how can you get the food there? There's no more grass. It's covered with snow, right? So that's what happened to the grasshopper. So the grasshopper suffered the consequence. So that's the story. So the thing is here, the lesson, this is how it is in the moral of the story how it applies it to us like the ants we should live each day as if we are preparing look at the ants they're preparing food each day right and the grasshopper what did he do he didn't do anything he was just playing he was just lying and he was just eating but the ants they know what's ahead they know what to what to do so they prepared food and what happened they didn't suffer like the grasshopper they were enjoying at the end so how it applies to us, 
Listen, everybody. It's about us preparing our spirit man. We should prepare our spirit man. Here, we should be like the ant who prepared food. Like us, we should learn how to prepare our spirit man well. So, again, I'll repeat. How it applies to us is that it's like the ants in the grasshopper. You choose playing or you need to prepare. Here, we have to prepare, like the ants, we have to prepare our spirit. Our job is to prepare our inner man to make it stronger. Because without making our inner man stronger, we cannot allow God to fully function in us. Or else, if we don't prepare our inner man, we will suffer the consequences like the grasshopper. We will be in trouble. So the question is, do you want to be like the grasshopper or do you want to be like the ant? Ant, right? Ant. So if we want to prepare like the ant, then in our life, in our life, like in our life, we should, in our life, then we should prepare our spirit so that our spirit is strong each day. So when the time of winter comes like this, we will not suffer like the grasshopper. We will be like the ant already prepared so that we are not affected by the trouble that is outside. So on the inside, we need to prepare our inner man. We need to prepare the, we need to prepare Christ in us. We chose that we need to become like the ant, right? So likewise in us, we need to prepare our spirit, not just like the grasshopper playing and having fun. Of course, it's part of us that we need to play, yes, but not all the time. There is a season where we need to be like the ant preparing for food but what food are we preparing not just physical food but the spiritual food and what spiritual food is that the word of god so like the ants we need to prepare our spirit we need to strengthen our spirit so that our spirit is strong god is strong in us because if our spirit is strong god is stronger in us amen why because like this scenario right now the world is not becoming better and better, but by God's grace, it will be better if we choose to become built up by God. Okay? So therefore, we need to take back our time and prepare our inner man well. All right? So again, do you want to be like the grasshopper or the ant? Ant, right? So likewise in us, prepare our spirit well so that God can become stronger and stronger in us. All right. Let's move on. Into continuation to our building process. Now that we know the blueprint, that the blueprint is Jesus Christ. When we start building, we need to know the foundation. What is the foundation? The foundation is the bottom part of the building. Can you see that? The bottom part of the building, it's cement. It's hard as rock. So why do we need the foundation in the building? Do you know? Do you want to know? So what is, the, what is the foundation? In every building, in every home, there's a big rock underneath. A big, giant, strong foundation underneath. This is the foundation. Do you know why do we need the foundation? We will find out. So in Matthew 7, verse 24 to 29... It says that the wise and foolish builder. So God says that the wise builder, it's like a man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down and the streams rose. And what happened? The house did not break. But the other man, who God called the foolish builder, he built his house on the sand. Can you see that man? He's crying. He built his house on the sand. The rain came and the streams rose. And what happened? It destroyed the house. So do you know now why the house needs to be built on a strong foundation? The rock? So the house can be a strong house. Okay? So the house can be strong. So even though the winds are strong, it cannot be brought down and broken down. Why? Because it's, 
It has a foundation, not just any foundation, rock foundation. Because a house that is built on sand, can you see the sand? It can be easily broken down if it's built underneath the sand. If it has no rock, it can be brought down. But even if it's a rock, okay, keep this in mind. This is how it looks like. Can you see that house? It had a foundation underneath. You cannot see it. But underneath, there's a rock. But here's the thing. We need to keep our foundation strong and fixed. Because even if you have a rock foundation, even if you build it on the rock, if it's broken, your house will still break. Amen? So if your foundation is not fixed, your house can be broken. So fix your foundation or else it'll look like this. It'll be this broken house. And we don't want that. So how does this apply to us? It's in our inner man. It's in our spirit. We need to build a house of God. Not just a house of God, but a house of God with a strong rock foundation. Because... If you don't have a strong rock foundation, your house can be easily broken down. So which one? Rock or sand? Rock, of course, right? So that's the foundation. So, but who is this foundation? If we want to build our spirit, who is this foundation? That foundation is Jesus Christ. Remember, you receive salvation. We, re we accepted Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. That's the first thing that you've received. That we pray that we accepted Jesus as our Lord and Savior. That he went to the cross to, to pay for our sins. Because we have, done, we have sinned against God. But Jesus Christ cleansed our sins. And we did that first. Why? Because we are building the foundation. Jesus Christ is the rock foundation. He is the rock underneath the house. And with Jesus Christ, we need to start in him so that we can build our spirit, our inner man. Amen? Amen. So we learned that he's the, he's the rock foundation and he's also the blueprint. He's the plan. We need to be like Jesus Christ. Remember what teacher jo John said that what Jesus Christ has, his spirit man, the spirit man of Jesus Christ, we will receive. Amen. And that's the plan. We need to be like Jesus Christ, how he behaves, how he talks, how he walks. Why? Why is it Jesus Christ? Because Jesus Christ showed us that he can connect to God. He showed us that how powerful it is when we connect to God. And we can do that too. Amen. Do you believe that? Amen. So if we follow Jesus Christ, we too can be as powerful as him when we connect to God. Amen. So he is our rock foundation and he is our blueprint. So let's move on. Now that we know the rock foundation, what do we need to, well, what, what do we need to have when we are building the house? We need materials. Remember this? Materials. These are the pieces that we need to build our house, the materials, to build the house of God in us. But what are these materials? What are these materials for our spirit? It is the word of God, okay? The word of God. So why? Why do we need the word of God? It will build our spirit. It is how, how, do, we, how do we build it? How do we build it into our spirit? We will find out, okay? Because the word of God is the food of the spirit. That's the materials to build the house of God. And we will see how it works to our spirit. Do you want to know? Okay, let's move forward. So this is you. And that's the word of God. So what happens? By frequency. When you're reading the word of God, when you're reading the word of God, your spirit is eating that's the, okay, because the word of God is the food of the spirit, right? So the spirit is eating from it. It's like you are, when you're reading the Bible, you're feeding your inner man. You're making your inner man stronger. You're adding parts, materials. And when you keep on reading, it's adding bricks to you. It's adding materials to your spirit, man. It's building, it's adding bricks. 
Why do we need to do that? So that your house is strengthened, so that your house becomes more stronger, not just in Jesus Christ, but with the materials of the word of God, you are being built up in your spirit. Amen? Amen. So when you read the Bible, not just read the Bible, this is what I'm saying to you right now. It comes from the Bible. So what I'm saying to you, when you are listening, when you are hearing what I'm saying, when you're listening, your spirit man is also is feeding from it because these words that I'm saying comes from the Bible. What am I saying? Words. That's the word of God. So when I'm, when I'm speaking to you, you are listening. You are feeding into your spirit. So that's what, what's happening. It's not just the Bible, but it's the frequency. You can hear it. It's the frequency that's being built up into your spirit. See? It, it gets built up until it fully forms in us. Okay? But there's a lot of things that need to build. Okay? So keep on doing that. Because your spirit man will continually grow when you keep on listening, not, ju not just in Bible, but in the select arrows. So... Say amen. Say yes. Because you know why? When you say yes and when you say amen, you are allowing the word, the brick, the materials to be built up into your spirit. Okay? Amen? Amen. But here's the thing. Not every word comes from God. Everything that builds into your spirit is, must be the word of God. But if we are not careful... Anything that is not of God, anything that is out from God is what? Evil. Anything that's out of God is not, not according to God's likeness. It is lies. It is the wrong words, the bad words. If there are good words, there are also bad words. So what are these things? Social media in Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter. Okay. Now, okay, let me be clear. I'm not saying that it's fully bad. There's some good in that, but not everything is good in there. Keep that in mind. So when you're using TikTok, YouTube, when you're listening to songs, notice how some songs have bad words, right? If the word of God will build you, words that comes from God, this words that comes from the social media will eventually destroy you too. Good words build you, bad words destroy you. So be careful when you use social media, when you open YouTube, when you open TikTok, okay? It's not entirely bad, but you need to be wise. You have to choose wisely, okay? But it's still bad overall because it's mixed. Good and bad are mixed together. There's some good in there, yes, but there's bad too. So if you mix it, it's all, it's still bad. So you have to be wise, okay? The safest part is the word of God. If you want to build your inner man, the word of God. And be careful because the social media can eventually destroy you. How? In social media, there's lies. There's false things. And you will get confused, huh? They said that and it's true? Yeah, so be careful, don't do not believe every word. That's the secret. Okay. If you don't want to have bricks in you from the worldly things from social media, do not believe every word. Only believe the word of God. Do not believe the lies. Do not believe the words that comes there from the social media. Not everything in social media is good for you. Even if it's popular. Okay. If it's popular, check. If it's good for you or not. Most of us don't check. If it's popular, we just go along with it. Because everybody is doing it. Not everybody, not everyone that is doing it, it's good for you too. So be wise. It's not that if everybody's doing it, you should do it too. We are not here to be popular. We are here to be like Christ. Amen. And if we want to be built up by this, by, if we want to build our spirit, then we need the word of God, the truth. Because why? Everything that comes from the mouth of God is life and truth. In social media, even if there is good, even if it's fun, there's some bad things in there. So you have to be wise when you use TikTok, when you use YouTube or Facebook or Instagram. Especially to those who are older than 12 or 13, be wise when you're using your phone. Because it will slowly destroy your house.
And if you keep on engaging in social media, then you cannot engage well in God. So you choose God or social media. Of course, I will go with God. I, I, want to, I want to hear God more. I want God to be strong in me. So I have to be watchful what I am watching and what songs am I listening? Because have you, you noticed every song, there's some bad words, right? There's some bad words in some songs. So you have to be wise because bad words destroy you. Good words will build you. Good words, not just good words, but words that come from God. So the word of God. Amen. I hope you're learning because this is very important. And the enemy is using social media to trick you because it seems so good, right? It's fun, but not everything is good for you, for your spirit. Okay. Final things. Let's. Let's keep it up. Let's focus. So even if we have the house, the materials, the rock foundation, we also need the builder. We need someone to build our house. And who is that? We need the builder. You will build the house, yes. But who will help you? Someone needs to help you because you need to build fast, not just slow. You need to build fast. So who is this? The Holy Spirit. He's not a bird. Okay? Don't think of him as a bird. It just symbolizes that he's pure like the dove. He's as white, pure as the dove. But he's a powerful builder, okay? What is the Holy Spirit's job? The Holy Spirit's job is to get the word. Because when I'm speaking, you're saying, uh, what is teacher Joshua saying? So the Holy Spirit is there to make you understand the word that I'm saying. So even if you don't understand, even if you don't understand, and if you say, amen, if you say, amen, I agree, the Holy Spirit will come to you and bring forth the understanding of that word. So that word will be built in your spirit. Okay. So that's the Holy Spirit. And he will give you the frequencies, but be careful of the frequency of the word from the social media. Okay. So amen. Amen. So do not be a mixture. Do not be a mixture, but be purely built by the Holy Spirit. So that our spirit is strong always and that so that God can become strong in us and that the house is strong and so God can be fully functioning in our spirit, strong. Amen? Amen. So that's it. So next week, be prepared for the future and upcoming lessons. I hope you're learning. So be careful of your spirit, man. What you are doing Social media, I'm not saying social media is bad, but be wise, okay? I also want to acknowledge Past Pastor Naomi for being here with us. And Teacher Joan has an announcement. So please listen. Hi, everyone. Did you learn something today? Right? We learned about many things. So if you want to repeat the lesson, for example, oh, I didn't see what teacher Joshua was saying, or oh, I forgot what the story was about. So if you want to remember the lesson, if you want to see the lesson again, or if you want to see the pictures again, we have our videos in YouTube. So if you want to get the videos of our lessons where the pictures are also there, you can ask your mommy and daddy because we send the link to your mommy and daddy, right? or to your Lolo and Lola, all right? So you're the, in the YouTube video, sometimes you can see your faces there. And you can also see if you're sitting well or how you look like. So if you want to see yourself and also the lesson and listen to it again, where can you see it? In YouTube, okay? So for next week, prepare yourselves. And today, thank you very much for joining us. We hope that you learned many things all right so take care everyone god bless a picture and picture okay picture. let's take a picture everyone smile picture smile all right let's do a few one more okay we'll do the next slide one more one two three smile okay everyone thank, thank you. you and bye-bye bye-bye see bless. you next week